Hi. Hi. So today is a very special day because it's my birthday. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's my birthday. She's 26. I'm 26. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay. So um we have a little story. Mm -hmm. Yesterday was also a special day. Was it yesterday? No, it was the day before. The day before. Two days ago was also a special day. Yes. Because it was two days before the birthday of my wife. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. And, and for another reason too. Because we went to our second ultrasound and uh, we saw the little baby moving inside. Inside of my belly. And uh, yeah, just tell us a little bit. What, <laughs> what happened? How was it? You tell us. I tell everything? Yeah, tell everything. Mm. I don't know what happened. How, how did it go? You tell them. <laughs> so <laughs> we went. <laughs> it's her birthday, so we have to do what she says, right? This, yes. this is how. This is the way. So we went for the which is coming. It's good. So we went in and uh, they put, of course, the, <laughs> the machine. <laughs> there is too much advertising now, no? Yeah. Okay. Put the ultrasound machine on her belly really? and then uh, they started showing actually the baby. Uh, the baby was sitting like, a, like in a, like legs crossed. And uh, you could see arm movements, leg movements, it was very sweet and also like yeah. turning the head up and down. It was a very interesting experience and also listening to the heartbeat. This is something that many people can tell you how, how awesome it was and it's gonna feel, but when you first hear really your baby's actual heartbeat, that's like priceless. It's not something I can tell you how it feels but I hope that you already experienced or you will experience yeah it was the best experience and you cannot explain how emotions you're gonna get by hearing the first heartbeat not the first heartbeat but the heartbeats of your yeah heart. first time hearing it yes yes <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they also uh, did some measurements of the thickness of the neck to see if there is any chance of uh, Down syndrome or heart, heart disease. disease or any kind of disease. Well, yeah. yeah. There's gonna be another scan where they check every single organ one by one to see if they are all good. So, but yesterday they measured the uh, the thickness mm -hmm. and they they saw that everything was. Okay. Completely perfect, as good as it can be. So we were ooh, very happy. Yeah, it was like really like we felt relief when they said that oh everything is okay. <laughs> no? Of course. Chances of chromosome disorder or heart disease is one in ten thousand, which is a very low number. So we don't have to be afraid of that. Yeah. And. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and also the nurse was like poking the belly because yes, the baby, the baby didn't... was like, uh, does it move? Like, it's like uh, sleeping, no? The baby was sleeping, yes. And the nurse wanted to have the baby in a certain position. So she was like, ding, 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 ding. And then moving to the other position and then... <laughs> Seeing the baby turn, yeah. So, as we also said in the previous uh, video, it took us six years to get pregnant, right? And uh, treatments as well. We tried IVF and then IUI, uh -huh. no, the, the other, other sequence. But we, we tried. So, not only did we get negative results every month for many years, also the treatments. There was like seven, like six. Uh, 
IUI and then one and then IVF. One IVF. And they all fail seven. Yes, and then in that field, we also felt the disappointment, upset, and everything. Wow, deeply. I mean, now uh, after so many, so many failures, and you wait like maybe this time is gonna be positive for six years constantly. I mean, now uh, I actually felt so bad about it. I was like. Why does God uh, does this to us? Does, does God actually exist? Because I don't think that there would be so many suffering on, on the earth and so many misfortune. Why is life so hard in general? Because work is hard, uh, getting money is hard, paying the house is hard, like everything is like... Why, why does it take so much effort just to survive on this planet? And, are we born to suffer or are we born for, for happiness? Why we cannot get pregnant for six years? It was, for me at least, it was such a pain that, that I felt like uh, probably there is no God and there is nobody watching over us or because, because it just didn't make sense. It was, but the day we had the ultrasound, I was just thinking about everything that if, if God gave us a child much earlier, most probably we would have never bought our house. We would have never taken the risks that we take, that we took and turned out good. Like I would have never quit my previous job. Would have never started my own company. Yes. And uh, in my own company, I would, wouldn't have invested so much money on advertisement to make it successful as it is right now. Yeah. And for me also, in six years of trying, that we tried a lot, there was a time also that I felt so upset. It's like, of course, it's, it's a mix emotions, especially physical emotions, physical thing, and then every treatment that we, we did, it's like, um, and every result is negative. There was a time also that I asked God that, why me? You no. Know? Why? Why not someone else? And then there was a time also that every time that I browse my Facebook, of course, if you browse your Facebook and then there is a like a pregnancy test, like one of your friend posted that oh it's positive, you know things like this. And every time that I saw that kind of result or news. <laughs> <laughs> I un it's not unfriend. I unfollow them. <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit hurtful to see others. Yes, happiness. Yeah, you know, like like, like us, we are suffered a lot, and I use a lot of I use a modern things like I use these hormones to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. Whatever was prescribed by the doctor to do the treatment. Yes, and then I. I did a lot. I do also. I did a lot of exercise, eat a lot of healthy foods and things like this. But still, you know, the result was negative. But but last two days, that that was the time also when I heard the heartbeat of our baby. <laughs> yes, woo! I was like, shucks. Uh, I was. I felt like, uh, you know, the words of uh, Tom Cruise, like, you complete me, like, <laughs> I felt so complete, I am so complete, and I already told to myself that moment that, oh, I am a woman, <laughs> now I have a mattress, <laughs> now my uterus is working, <laughs> so, there was a time that I, I asked God why, but there was a time that, you know, you know, when you think about like, um, like to question God, and then, you know, one day you're gonna realize that, oh, God is only there, and then watching you, and then He planned everything in yes. the right direction, and things like this. That's so, true. so I think this is the best gift ever. So, because every year, every year, for six years, I all, when my birthday is coming, 
my first wish is always like because you need to do three wishes right so my first wish is like oh baby this year and then next year again, baby this year so last year I said when when they asked me what is your wish and I did not wish the baby because if I'm going to wish a baby baby will come I'm gonna feel like you know disappointed again because I already know that it's not coming so I I I I skip about baby so I I ask about like health money <laughs> and good work <laughs> but this that time I did not say baby but this time I did not ask for anything but God gave me a baby <laughs> for a miracle no it's a, it was a miracle because we did IVF and it was failed and after we failed now it's a baby right long time but yeah what I want to tell to you guys that I think uh, life is not easy it's not if you have any difficulties anytime you need to know you're not alone at all like I think most of the people have hardships in their life it's not an easy place to be on this planet but never doubt for a second that God is out there and watching out for you because because at the end definitely things come at the right time just because you don't understand why things happen they happen for a reason and it doesn't matter if you think about God as someone in, above the cloud or maybe you think about God as a, your a higher spiritual being you watching over yourself there are many theories but or a creator of everything that that is like doesn't control anything anymore it doesn't matter how you think about God but you need to know that if you keep moving in the direction and you work hard towards the goal that you have you can achieve it you you yourself you will make it happen yeah and then the only thing that I want to say to God right now if God is watching or is God is beside me I just want to say I'm sorry for yes I, I just want to say I'm sorry because there was a time that I questioned you and I'm sorry for everything but I'm so thankful and yeah. thank you for everything thank you for the new life thank you for all the blessings that you give to me and to my husband and for all of us you know yeah. thank you for the house thank you for the car <laughs> thank you for the company thank you for everything <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for twin sister. Hmm. So. so, so I just did you show that? Okay. We we gonna show you our baby, the latest photo of our baby. <laughs> so this one, two, three, four was eight weeks and two days, and this is one, two, three is the newest one. Look, 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 look. Run! See? This is our baby. <laughs> and then, next ultrasound, it's gonna be the revealing of the gender, right? Yeah. So, next, re next, week 20. next video is gonna be like, we're gonna update you what's going on on that. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> Take care, enjoy life, and be grateful for whatever you have, and don't, don't doubt, and keep working hard towards your dreams. Yes. Bye-bye.